Hello, welcome to another installment of the Central American Group's podcast, in which experts discuss topics related to doing business in Costa Rica, El Salvador, and the rest of the region. Hello, welcome to another installment of the Central American Group's series of podcasts. We talk to experts in Central America about doing business in the region. Today, we are lucky to have with us a gentleman by the name of Eugenio Quiroz Benenborg. How are you today, Eugenio? Hello, Stephen. Good afternoon. Thank you for this opportunity. Eugenio is uh, the executive director of an organization that uh, oversees free zones in Costa Rica. Eugenio, could you first tell us a little bit about yourself and then about your organization? Okay, okay. Stephen. Hello, everyone. My name is Eugenio Quiroz Benamborg. Um, I'm the executive director of the Association of Free Trade Zone Companies of Costa Rica, SOFRAS. Um, SOFRAS is the representative of the Costa Rican free trade zone sector in the protection, defense, and also the development of the, their business activity before both governmental authorities and also uh, other private sector organizations. Since 1990, Asofras constantly seeks to improve the competitive conditions of the free trade zone companies, a work to find uh, solutions to obstacles uh, that they face in terms of operations, legal, uh, fiscal issues, among others. Um, we also are a source of information and lobby about investment climbing climate uh, concerning the free trade zone regime, as well as the, the recognized and qualified speaker of companies operating under uh, this regime in Costa Rica. We also generate awareness um, about the importance and positive impact of our sector for the socioeconomic context uh, of Costa Rica. Thanks for that explanation of uh, your organization, but can you please give us a little bit more specific information on what exactly the free trade re re free trade zone regime is? For sure, uh, Stephen. Well, the, the free trade zone regime is uh, the mainstay of Costa Rica's export and investment uh, promotion strategy. Uh, it is specifically a set of incentives and benefits granted by the Costa Rican government um, to companies making investments in Costa Rica, and it provides uh, tax uh, incentive. Um, there are several kind of companies that can apply for the free trade zone regime. For instance, export services companies, uh, manufacturing companies, scientific research firms, uh, free uh, zone parks administrators, um, among others. Mm, Costa Rica's tax incentives and, and benefits are standard, standardized. Uh, they apply to any and all companies according to their operation. So there is no need for negotiation on a, on a per case basis, right? Um, in addition, entities wishing to set up operations in areas outside the greater, greater metropolitan area um, can enjoy uh, greater be benefits. Yes, in terms of the benefits that you're referring to, can you give an example of one uh, that is enjoyed by companies that uh, set up in Costa Rica in a free trade zone? Yes. Well, um, Companies can apply for, for tax benefits and also for, uh, for, for instance, import uh, taxes. Um, and and it's, it's, a, it's mainly a tax uh, regime and that is granted to, to, to companies making new investments in Costa Rica. What uh, kind of companies are in ASOFRAS and are in free trade zones in Costa Rica? Well, uh, the Association of Free Trade Zone Companies uh, of Costa Rica groups together three types of companies, free trade zone enterprises, free trade zone parks, and also suppliers, for instance, uh, corporate services companies, and, and that kind of, of companies. 
Could you give us an approximate or exact, if you know, number of companies that are members of uh, Asofras? Nowadays, in Asofras, our, our nowadays our, our part of Asofras more than uh, one hundred fifty companies that represents um, more or less forty percent of the total uh, of free trade zone companies of Costa Rica. So what does your organization provide to those members in terms of services? Well, uh, Stephen, in Asofra, we provide to our uh, members many uh, kind of services. For instance, technical advisory and free trade zone regime covering the, the operational, legal and fiscal areas, uh, guidance and counseling, and, and counseling on issues related to permits, uh, procedures, requirements specific to the free trade uh, zone regime. Um, we also provide a statistical and business information on free trade zone regime in Costa Rica and other countries. Uh, this thanks to our uh, partnership with the World Free Zone Organization and the Association of Free Trade Zone Zones of the Americas, ASPA. Uh, we also uh, bring support and guidance uh, in the solution of obstacles related to the use of the benefits of the free trade zone regime. Uh, all, another, another service that is very important is the representation of the free trade zone sector before governmental authorities and other private sector organizations. And finally, training activities and programs on free trade zone regime and related areas. What are some of the reasons uh, that you feel that companies should set up operations in Costa Rica? Well, this is a very good question, Stephen. Costa Rica is internationally uh, distinguished by many key aspects. Um, I could say first, it's proven track record. Uh, more than 100 years of solid democracy, its economic and political stability and its innovation have defined made of Costa Rica one of the top choice for investing in the region. Um, second is its strategic location. Costa Rica is located in the heart of the Americas and it is connected to the world by air and sea. Um, third, its people, the country is a, a cradle of human talent for, for those who seek the value of excellence. Costa Rica are well-educated and kind people who embrace challenges, learn rapidly and welcome opportunities. Um, fourth, it's solid utilities infrastructure. It goes from having a powerful redundant and reliable energy supply uh, network this is very important from, from renewable energies to promoting the creation of a strategically located industrial parks and business uh, centers. And I could say fifth, the, the great weather. Costa Rica enjoys a perfect climate that provides ideal conditions for several uh, industries and also, companies never stop their operations because of blizzards or heat whips. Um, we are even really heavily affected by tropical storms. And summarizing, there are just some of the reasons why Costa Rica is the best option to invest. Uh, we, am, we invite you all to discover personally what Costa Rica can offer. Eugenio, could I add one more uh, item to that? In beyond what you mentioned? Tell me. It's got wonderful beaches, both on the Pacific and the Atlantic coast. So that's another. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 can, you, you can enjoy the country in the nature and also the, the business. One of the things that we always do in these uh, podcasts is to ask the individuals that we're conversing with, if individuals that are listening would like to get in touch with you, how would they do that? And if you have a website, how would they get to that? Yes, our website is www.asofras.com. You can also find us on Facebook as Asofras and let's get in touch. Okay, and one other thing, do you have an email address that uh, people could use if they wanted to get in touch with you directly? 
Yes, my email is uh, ekiros at asofras.com. Well, thank you very much for the information. Um, I'm sure that it'll be of interest to people that are looking to do business in Costa Rica. We want to thank you for joining us and wish you a good day. Thank you for listening. Sign up to receive the Central American Group's quarterly newsletter by visiting www.thecentralamericangroup.com.